hot out here, isn't it? Yes. Can't wait for the winter time <laughs> where I can put on all of my winter clothes, snowsuit, yes. snow boots, ice skate. Oh, and we're at the ice skating rink, the new one in our town and can't wait to use it. Hmm. Hmm. I think that would be so much fun. The only problem is like, okay, so I've got my hat, I've got my jumper, I've got my gloves, but I don't have anything for my neck. I feel like my neck specifically would get super cold. I think I'd like to make like a buff. My buff's video. gonna be better than your buff. I don't doubt that at <laughs> all. <laughs> all right, ready? Three, two, one, go. go. Okay, so I'm coming over to my area and I need to get a piece of paper and pencil so I can film myself planning what I'm gonna do for the buff here. So let me grab that. I had to run to give myself a head start because I know Chris is gonna blow me out of the water if I don't. <laughs> Just wanna show you some of the things that I might use to do this project. This here is the cutting area of my shop. Here it is and I need to get my ruler. This is a great ruler for this project. I need paper. I don't know if you guys have noticed, it's kind of a trend. We don't really think much ahead with our challenges. Yeah, we definitely do a lot of winging it. It's possible that I might use my scan and cut. I may cut something out to put onto my project. There's literally one, one card. All right, so I guess that's what we're doing. We're gonna put the plan on this one card and that's what we're doing. For this project, I think I've chosen a t-shirt and some other fabric that has some stretch. The t-shirt has a little bit of stretch everywhere, but I also want some ability to be able to control the amount of stretch. I've got my paper, I found a notebook with some paper and I've got my pencil. I'm gonna sit down and plan something out. I will be cutting this out to specs. I'm thinking about 19 inches by 21. I wanted to do some sort of homage to 90s inspired uh, buff. I spent the early parts of my childhood growing up in New Hampshire and it was really popular, at least in on the East Coast, to have those big like jester's hats and those bright colors. I don't know if it was popular the rest of the country, but in the East Coast, it was absolutely a thing. So I thought it would be really fun to do something like that 90s inspired and do something like some sort of homage to that. Okay, so here's my t-shirt. It's a pretty big one. It's old. It's kind of, it's got holes in it. It's a tube type, so there isn't any seams on the sides. Okay, so don't mock my drawing skills, but so we're going to have your uh, buff situation, and then we're going to have a hood to go with it. This is where we're going to have the jester spikes, this is where we're going to have our cinch cord. Uh, this is just showing the spikes extended out. So they won't be like full Liberty spikes, as cool as that would be, in my opinion. And I think it'll just be super fun. I'm really excited about it. So let's go get our supplies. I'm going to just make this flat all the way around. I'm going to cut off the bottom edge because I need that gone. There's that. I think we're going to do fleece for the majority of the pattern here. And we've got a ton of fleece. And then I'm going to add some extra because I'm going to be making some seam allowances. I'd like it to be fun colors. So I like this orange. I also really like this purple. The orange and the purple, that would be really nice together. That would be really fun. And they're a good tone. So we're going to do those two together. All right. That arm is gone. Ooh. Ooh, you guys, look at this. So that's about 24 by 18. That'll work. Shot of Chris filming. Look at that, she's already cutting. See, I told you guys. <laughs> oh, 
That's why I ran, because I had to give myself a fighting chance. I have an old sweatshirt. Sweater. I mean, it was moth-eaten, and I think the cat climbed up in it on the hanger. The cat really liked it, apparently. <laughs> I am going to use this as my other piece. This is going to be a double-lined one, or a lined one, actually. This is kind of what I'm deciding against. Like, do I want... I kind of really like that red, actually. I feel like this might be too similar, but that red would be... It'd be one more color, but I feel like... It's not too different. I think it would work pretty nicely. Now, with this, I am going to stitch this on the bottom where this decorative space is. But I'm not going to take it all the way down. I am going to take it to about where the scallop, where the scallop ends. And then I am going to flip it this way and I'm going to stitch it on the bottom of this. Okay, so by far, we have the most of the purple. We have a ton of purple. And then we also have a lot of the orange. So for the actual body of the hood and the buff, I think we're going to do the orange and the purple. And then our accents, our spikes, are going to come from this chevron and this polka dot. I've got a junk piece of material, a junk zipper I pulled out of something that I'll never use again because it's broken. I will try to see if this will work. After all, we have, what, approximately two hours, right? What could go wrong? So in order to properly attach these, I'm just going to attach them at a seam and make my life easier, right? So I'm just gonna sew the spikes into the seam. So what that means is I need to have um, this right here, the top of my crown, I have it at six inches wide. I have it six inches wide from my measurements roughly, which means here I'll put a seam, and then in the middle I'll put a seam, and then at this side I'll put a seam, right? So that means this six inch section, I'm actually going to cut separately and then cut down the middle into two. So there'll be a, a little three inch section here and a three inch wide section here so that the middle can have this seam. That means that this section of this hood, instead of being 16 inches, will be 13 inches to allow for this three inch section. I'm running right along flush with the edge of the material. And the foot is running right along the zipper tape. It will kick out a little bit for the zipper right here. Let me move that. I will put this down in my fabric, lift up my foot, see if I can move this along. It's kind of tight. I might not be able to do this. That was a good, good thought, though. There we go. There, I moved it past it. Now I can go on and it won't kick out so much. So I'll put that back down and keep going. Okay, but right here, that's center. So notch it. So I have centers on all all of these parts. We've got the next section of the buff, and we've got a rough idea. I just kind of bent in this corner. I haven't uh, cut out this corner yet. Um, but we've got a rough idea of what the hood will look like. And then again, it's not the final height because we still have this three inch side that we need to cut out and then we're gonna shape everything up and sew it up. So I'll start with the small one. There's the notch. This is the back of the fabric. I want the front, I want my zipper tape, and I want the notch matching the notch, and I want right sides together, so the right side of the fabric with the right side of the zipper tape. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Okay, I'm going to go, go. Now what I want to do is I want to just measure out this arc because this last part here at the top of the crown is where I'm going to place the final of these spikes. So it'll be a spike here, a spike in the middle, 
and then spikes in the front. And then again, we'll have nine of them, so it'll be like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. The top, pull straight out. This is a surging machine. It's a different type, it's a cover stitch. It does, it has no cutter here like your other sergers do. And it does, do I have it on here? I do. It does this right here where it makes the two lines or three lines and it makes that hem and it doesn't cut it off. It just, it sews it right in. Glad I had that. Now let's add this other section to it. Got to find my notched edge which is this one. Hopefully I'm going the right direction. Let me check. Because one side is larger, longer than the other side. And this appears to be the right side. Very good. Now right sides together at the notch. And we will attempt this one more time. I'm going to put this zipper tape at the end this time and have that blip there since I can't get it pulled around. It's too tight. So if you have to kind of push it in a little bit, you won't have to do too much. All right. Just no pulling. All right. As long as I didn't stitch my other piece under there, which I might have done, this should be doing pretty well. And... One hour left. No. She said one hour left. Okay, so I am just marking out how long I want these spikes to be, and we've got 10 inches here. And because of the pattern of the chevron, um, I want my triangles to be going in the same direction if I can help it. Continue on. Now it looks like I lost one of my threads. But at this point, actually, I'm going to go to my other machine. And then I want my um, chevrons to be starting out three inches wide and then going down into a taper. And I'm just going to call it like probably like a half inch taper just so I can just sew it with the serger. I'm not going to put any sort of um, tassels at the end of it. I thought about it, but since we only have an hour left, um, I want to give myself enough time. so. If I have time at the end, maybe I'll throw something on, but. So guess what? I don't have a navy bobbin, so I'm going to wind a navy bobbin. I'm going to use my cone thread because I have a whole lot more. I'm just going to cut that stripe down the middle. Just to save myself some time. what I just did. I tugged it so hard. <laughs> I just broke the needle. <laughs> oh. Use up all the scraps. Boom. Boom. Okay. So that is, I think that might be enough. <sighs> to be honest, something is keeping it from moving. Let me see this. Why is this attention needs attention? And now we can get them all going in the same direction. And there'll be these cute little fun little stripes. And we'll have the stripes going down like that on the hat. I need to move along. I'm really getting behind. So I'm just starting out at the one corner, the widest corner, and I'm just going to bring it to almost this other corner. I'm going to give myself a little bit of a seam allowance. I'm just going to try and aim for a half inch. So that is my spike. I'm going to use this as a template, and we're just going to cut all the rest of them to be the same. 
I'm also going to take this off and put on a regular. That might help too. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense, but I promise you'll see it when it's done. But I wanted to lay out the stripes so you can see the hood, right, and how it will lay out in the crown. So on one side, we'll have the chevron dots and then chevron. In the middle, we'll have orange, chevron, orange. And then on the other side, we'll have dots, chevron, dots. So that way it's all mixed together. And then we have three different layers. And um, I think it'll be super fun. Let's go ahead and get to sewing our spikes. Okay, I got some clips of various sorts. And in this bulky area of the seam, I am going to clip the big one. I'm going to figure out halfway. The halfway point, rough halfway, would be this where this tag is. So that's halfway. Eyeball about an inch. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right. So we've got our nice little, our little chain. If I pull it taut, it'll leave those in the way that they should go. I'm just going to cut them all apart and then we'll have our little spikes. I'm just turning all these guys inside out. I'm just using a pencil, the eraser point of a pencil, and I'm just turning these inside out. You and I know there is a secret thing, secret hidden thing in this, our zipper. But we're not done because we need to put that panel in, stitch it in halfway so that we can use the, the zipper for a pocket on the bottom part. So I didn't realize the camera was really blurry, but this is what it looks like now that we're done sewing it. And now I'm just going to put the buff part of the body onto it and then we'll call it good. Currently we are six minutes over time. Oops. <laughs> but I'm just going to go ahead and finish up anyway because um, we're all almost done and I want to finish up this project. So I'm just going to go ahead and hem it up and sew up this last end and we'll call it good. All right. Check out these results. These things are so fun. Let's go. Chris. Hi. <laughs> Do you like my hat? Oh, I love it. Do you like it? Oh, what do you? Do you like it? Yes, I do. <laughs> you will be going down the slopes in fashion. Uh, yeah, right? Ice, with ice skating and glamour. And I'll go so fast now. Oh, yes. Look, I have a, a little extra feature. I love That's it so awesome. much. <laughs> what are you working on? She's working on a secret, you guys. What are you secretly doing? What is this etch a sketch secret? You will see. <laughs> I'm excited. I have no idea what you've been working on. I've been so diligently cutting well, out know what you a thousand spikes. <laughs> I should have spied. I should have just run over there and snuck up with the camera and Bam! <laughs> Booyah! She put Gearsimity on it. That's a cool thing. How long is that thing? It's too long. Wait All right. for it. Big reveal. Here we go. Zipper pad. Hey. <laughs> Wallet. What? Oh my goodness. How did you get all that in there? That's super cool. Dumb. <laughs> you got a whole secret pouch. Wow, I really like that. That turned out awesome. So show us the it your works. sunglasses. I love that we went in totally different directions. Like you've got a ton of functionality. You've got our company logo on it. 
and it's like a traditional buff shape. I love it. Yeah. How fun. I actually like the length on that one. It gives you plenty to work with because I bet even if, can you like make it a hood? I would, ma- I would need to make it bigger, wider. Okay. Yeah. It was a little thin. Okay. And, but if I did make it wider, absolutely. Yeah. Because but- then you could definitely make it a hood. <laughs> yeah. Perfection. It doesn't work. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> That's not all. Oh, there's more. It's reversible. Oh my gosh. Of course so, it is. Why did you think I was going to win this? Why did she, guys, she literally thought that I was going to win because I put spikes on a hood. She did win. No way. Yours is you actually win. a buff. And you put our company logo on it. It looks great. Boom. Yeah. I love it. It looks so good. <laughs> One is super fun. I did nine little jester. Um, they're not okay. spikes, but they're the jester tassels. Mm-hmm. So I guess what they're called. I got real inspired from those 90s jester hats that people will put on their like heads when they're skiing and snowboarding yep. and stuff. And it was just like really fun. I remember fun. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had a friend who was we making hats like crazy. Yeah, they were super popular. So it's pretty sweet. I would definitely make it again. I definitely would want a face mask thing maybe even something that you can take off with like a magnet or something you know how they have like Mm -hmm. the magnetic ones Uh um that would be pretty sweet Mm -hmm. um otherwise i love this i I love love the design i would absolutely make it again yeah like let us know if you guys want the pattern to this because we'll definitely make the pattern uh i'm definitely gonna make the pattern for this one so we'll release it if you guys want it it's just so fun yeah it's just so fun what kid would not want that? Yeah. And you know what else? They could make it themselves. Yes. Here's the... It's just a fun time. And also, we'll, we're we going to release a buff pattern, a traditional buff pattern as well. So uh, just let us know what you guys think of this one. Give us our feedback, and we'll keep you guys posted when we have our prototyping done and when we've got our pattern out. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Far out. Wipe out. Got some righteous gnarly shredding, my dudes.